morning everybody, this is Eternal Blade here and welcome back to another 3DS Max modeling tutorial. Today I will cover how to model a simple interior office uh, trash can. You see them a lot in you know sort of the modern offices with these wire constructions. They're actually pretty easy to make and this was right out of V-Ray, so um, with that being said, let's jump right into Max here and get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, hide the old trash can here and go to my perspective viewport. and. Actually, we're just going to go ahead and hide everything here. So just Control A and hide selection. All right. So the first thing we want to do here is just go ahead and make a cylinder right here in the central viewport. And we're going to want to have about 40 sides and about oh, 20 height segments should do the trick. You want these height segments to really um, help with the turbo smooth later on. Now go ahead and just copy that down, okay? Just like that. Now, for your first cylinder, convert it to an editable poly, and go ahead and grab the top and the bottom polygons and just delete them. Now what you need to do is add a chamfer modifier on top of that. Hit open chamfer and make sure it's um, inverted, and then just bring the chamfer amount down to about you know, whatever you deem necessary. Right about 0.25 in this case is pretty good, maybe 0.2. Alright, then go ahead and add a twist modifier. And you're going to want to make the angle of the twist about 30 degrees. Okay, that'll give you a nice twist kind of like that. Um, and actually, I think before I go any further here, I want to maybe raise the height of this up to about 35. And maybe 30. All right, and the radius is probably fine where it is. All right, so go back to your edit poly, chamfer, twist, and then go ahead and add a shell modifier and give the modifier outer amount the same as your chamfer. So if it's 0.2, try to give your outer amount here to be 0.2. Perfect. Then add your turbo smooth, and one iteration should be enough. So now what we need to do to make the magic happen is select your a mesh here, right click, go to clone, make it an instance, and just go ahead and mirror it. That'll immediately give you those sort of diamond shaped uh, structures you're looking for. Alright, so pretty handy. And maybe we'll actually go ahead and twist this about 45. There you go, just to get some smaller diamonds in there. Alright, perfect. So now what we need to do is grab this cylinder here and bring the height segments all the way down and bring the height uh, all the way down and then just go ahead and drag it up. All right, so something like this. Now bring the radius a little bit outward. Okay, so convert it to an editable poly there. And we can just go ahead and scale out this just a little bit, just so it's a bit bigger than our basket or our mesh here. Now using your bevel tool, let's go ahead and just sort of create a little area where the mesh can sort of fit in, okay? So I'm just sort of beveling down, beveling up, and then you want to inset it a little bit here. So just bring it in, and come back up a bit. All right, something like this. And you want to come in. And finally, bring it down, click and one last click here and then go ahead and inset this top polygon and inset the bottom polygon and also grab this edge here and press ring connect it and just uh, slide it all the way to the outside edge there just like that all right perfect you can go ahead and grab this one uh, ring connect oops sorry didn't quite work there ring and there we go and just slide it right there near the bottom. So let's go ahead and apply a turbo smooth to that. Two iterations should be fine. That'll give you that sort of nice um, base for your uh, trash can. So press W here and just shift drag that up. And what we can do here now is just grab this middle polygon and grow it until you reach uh, the outermost edge here. All right, so one more, and delete that. And then do the same thing for the bottom here. So just grow it, 
and delete. Now with your border mode, just go ahead and press cap on the bottom, click on the top, and cap on the top. All right, now select the top and the bottom. You want to inset them just a bit, not too much. Something like that ought to work fine. And maybe a little more than that. And go ahead and press bridge, okay? Now that we have this, this is sort of gonna be the, the cap of our mesh, so go ahead and drag this down to where it sort of covers those up. All right, and now what we can do here is go to your edge mode and grab that and press ring, connect, and you want to give it two connections and just pinch it outwards towards the edges there, just like that. Now let's go ahead and grab this. We're going to loop it and just drag it up a little bit and then grab this ring, connect one segment and just slide it down to the bottom. Something like that ought to do. Now, I think it's a bit, it needs to come in a bit, so just go ahead and grab these and press ring. Press R, or control click vertices, press R, and we're just going to scale it inward just a bit. Something like that should be perfect. All right, that'll give you sort of that nice uh, edge that we're looking for, and you can um, adjust it a little bit as you see fit. For example, I think I might go to my front viewport here deselect the bottom most vertices there and just scale the top ones uh, in just a bit more All right, just so it kind of tapers out all right and uh, that's basically all there is to it you can go in here and perhaps make the chamfer about 0.1 and the shell about 0.1 just to give us some smaller wire all right so just grab that and uh, group. Okay, make a group one. We'll unhide all. Go to your camera here. We'll just go ahead and delete our other one we had. And then if we just bring this one and you move it into position here, sort of bring it up a little bit. Something just like that. And maybe scale it up just a tiny bit. All right, and let me bring it over here. Something like this should do nicely. I'm just gonna press F4 here just so I can see all the lines. All right, and for the material, if we just bring up our material editor here by pressing M, uh, I'm just using a simple black material. It's got a diffuse of about five, a reflection value of about 69, and a glossiness of 0.7. That should give you a generally a pretty good um, render. And just go ahead and click Assign Material to Selection. That is a V-Ray material. So with that being said, let's just do a quick render here and uh, see what we get. And there we have it. Now that the render is done, you can see we've got a very nice trash can. And uh, it was really easy to make. And you can play around with the settings if you want to have thicker wire or in the initial creation stage, if you uh, give your cylinder more segments. You can have you know a, a more denser mesh here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe to my page. Um, if you want to see how this tile material is made, uh, be sure to check out the page in another couple weeks. I'll be posting how I made that. Um, also be sure to uh, take a look at the other interior architectural prop videos I have going on. I have some pretty awesome ones about some blinds and ceiling fans. And also be sure to leave a comment um, in the comment section about what other props you'd like to see uh, made. I mean, I can teach you pretty much anything. I just need some pretty good ideas about what you guys want to learn. So uh, just let me know. And as always, I will see you next time and happy modeling.